In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four animated options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see uh, four uh, circles along with the hollow circle comes here. And when I click, this will cover in the loop. You can see here and then you can add your headline and the detailed text along with the icon. And on my next click, it will come the second option, then the third option and the fourth option likewise i have created one more slide with six options you can see here i have put option a and option b and then with some different color combinations i have given and if you want you can add one more extra also depending on your requirement so it's up to you to choose the slide from if you want four options or six options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide right mouse click go to format background under solid fill i'm just going to select a light gray color here then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size so i'm just going to reduce the width by dragging this small orange point outside you can see here so depending on your requirement you can just set the width maybe this much i'm going to take shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle go to shape fill and i'm going to make it white color but white it is not visible now so let it be the same color now i'm going to add four small circles here so go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key again you can see here maybe this much size i'm just going to increase it shape outline make it no outline and shape will give some different color combination let me just give this one and make sure that it is aligned center and then send this to back all right so if you want you can make it somewhat up also not a problem then what you can do is i'm going to add one rectangle to cover this so now let me just first change this to white color so exactly you know what i'm trying to do then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here and shape outline make it no outline let me just move this up and shape fill i'm going to select the same color now here i want to give a effect where it is coming through this one or it is looping from this particular uh, small oval shape so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to add some shadow effects here so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select black color then the transparency i'm just going to increase it maybe 60 or 70 percent you can just keep it then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here and if it is more lighter in that case i can just decrease the transparency here you can see here then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select it something like this here. You can see here. Then select this rectangle and bring to forward. You can see here it looks like a cutout effect. So Control D to duplicate. And I'm just adding it here also. Let me just add it here. And then just adjust it. So let me just adjust it. and bring this to front you can see here so you end up getting a shape something like this all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just select all all these shapes you know except the white one the bigger one by using the 
the mouse or you can just press ctrl a also then it, this also got selected so hold the shift key and just unselect this one then press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it down all right so just bring it down and make sure that it is properly aligned with that so you can see uh, the lines it's perfectly aligned now so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this circle and go to shape format send this to back all right so we have got this uh shape here now let me just add towards the right and the left so again i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just bring it here you can see here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select only the inside one the shadow and this one press ctrl g to group it and then you can just simply rotate it you can see here you rotate it and just bring it somewhat down and then i can just ungroup it so now i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate add towards the left side and again make sure that it is properly aligned all right and again i'm just selecting both of these and just send this to back so you can see here with this our basic design is ready now it's time to just change the color so just select any color of your choice maybe i'm going to choose this color a light orange and again i'm going to select the same color for this for here maybe i can choose a red color you can see here and for this let me just choose or maybe a teal color all right so you can see here uh, our design is uh, almost ready now it's time to add some icons if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can just simply go to insert click on icons and you can just download or use the icons if you don't have the icons i have provided on my channel you can just search and get it and download it so i'm just going to select some random four icons just move it aside and then i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only you can see here and shape fill i'm going to make it white and then just bring one each and just put it on you can see here i'm just adding one by one all right so you can see here and this also i'm just going to put it here and then you can add the detailed text along with the title so go to insert text box and then just add the title here your title choose any good font center align maybe i'm going to choose roboto for this and reduce the font size and then go to insert text box add your detail text here again reduce the size we can just add it here and then i'm going to give some gray color and reduce the font size all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and then add on each option you can see here there's some lagging on my laptop i don't know the reason so there's some what it's delay here and make sure that it is properly aligned and again the last one you can see here all right so with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some basic animations you can add any animation of your choice